Hello my beauties, welcome to that time of the month and as usual there's a ton of stuff so I'm going to go straight into it. If you have been following me on social media you should know that I'm actually in New York at the moment so I'm actually quite surprised how much stuff I've accumulated so I don't know, let's just go into it. The very first thing I want to talk about is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and this is in the colour Brunette. So I've been really into like fine point, like micro point fine tip like brow pencils and this one is obviously very affordable you can get it in your drugstore this one is quite good it's just my only thing is it doesn't last as long and I feel like the color or the texture is a little bit more waxy than I would prefer this is the Dermaclear micro water and this removes makeup and impurities so as you walk out of Sephora you always pick up random things and this is one of the things that I want to try you have to kind of work in it a little bit if it's waterproof but in terms of like face makeup eyeshadows lipstick and whatnot it removes beautifully and and it doesn't sting your eyes or anything like that so that's great Clinique um, prep start quick cleanse wipes and obviously I left one in there to show you what it, how it comes in basically it's like these little um, pods and all you have to do is you press the center and then the little like microfiber cloth or whatever it is gets absorbs all of the liquid inside and then you can just take the cloth out and use it as a wipe so you get nine pods all together in here and they're just great for traveling and also good for like on the go wipes and things like that as well i find that with this one definitely not good for if you have lash extension because the micro or the fibers in the cloth get, gets caught onto your lashes and whatnot so it's good for like just a general wipe but because the cloth is so thin and like quite stretchy and whatnot so you don't want to like rub it into your skin too much so i find that with this is just a very quick and very basic clean, nothing too intense or too thorough. The reason why I got this is obviously first it's in a purple bottle and second of all it's like ooh it has a wood cap it must be fancy. Um, the texture is very rich and creamy and I felt like it didn't really give me anything other than slightly bright brightening effect which I think mostly eye creams give you anyways so to me I was like oh maybe it's a little bit too rich for me um, I wasn't like blown away or felt like it was a huge difference but it's definitely an eye cream to use if you're really dehydrated around the eyes or if you feel really dry because I think when my eyes or when like my skin is dry this is definitely something really nourishing and very moisturizing this is by Mishaderm and this is a natural all-day moisturizer so I talked about the serum that I used before it was like more of like a uh, brightening serum and this one is like reduces blemishes and evens out skin tones so I've just been using this by itself during the day and then using like a sun block on top of that I feel like this is just a moisturizer it doesn't really do anything else maybe it's more of a pre like preventative than an actual treatment so I don't feel like it's going to like help you target the blemishes but it's definitely helping you to prevent your skin from further breakouts in terms of texture it's really nice it's like a gel texture very lightweight and you can spread it all across your face and absorbs in seconds but other than that I don't really see any other benefits I don't think my skin tones even doubt because I still see blotchiness and patches where like I had problems if you watch me on my vlogs you will know that I went out with Kathy to watch a movie and as I was taking out my bag to reapply my lipstick or my lip balm this fell out and then the inside came out and I couldn't find it like everyone tried to help me find it even like the cleaner the other guy who was watching the movie as well was like on his hands and knees and trying to find it and it just disappeared it, like it literally went into some Bermuda triangle of lipsticks it just it's gone so in terms of the lipstick itself obviously the packaging is beautiful it's luxurious and being the fact that the inside came out and you can't really it's really loose therefore in terms of that it's really flimsy but other than that like the outside is really like heavy duty it feels nice because it's leather casing okay going to the product itself because the bullet is slightly slimmer I feel like it can you can kind of cover your lips better or you can draw out the shape of your lip better I was really careful to make sure that I wasn't like tugging on my lips really hard that I was gonna break the bullet um, and then the texture of it is it really once it's on your lips it melts into your lips and then your lips will turn like natural pink speaking of losing makeup so I actually lost my Tom Ford eyeliner but I wanted to show you this is what it what it looks like this is actually Kathy's what you get is one end is the regular eyeliner pen and then the other side is like the micro or the mini one and so it's good for like getting into the little corners and whatnot. So for me, I finished the regular side first. So it became like kind of dry and patchy. And then I went on the other side and started using the micro one. And then I lost it. Definitely a very good eyeliner because I had it for like a year, or maybe longer than that. And it lasted so long. This is probably the most inkiest black that you can get in terms of like an eyeliner. You still get that black all the way through and it's consistent. It's not like patchy or like clumpy. So 
definitely really good eyeliner. This is the NYX Fresh Face Blotting Paper and I got this obviously because it's purple. Um, I wanted to just to try some alternative blotting paper that wasn't Tatcha because Tatcha can be really expensive. These ones, you kind of have to use like five, six, sometimes seven sheets just to get the oils off your face. So obviously you are paying like more for quality, but other than that, you know, blotting paper, what it does is just blots excess oils. The Detox Dry Conditioner, and this is by Dry Bar. I wanted to get a dry shampoo to see how my hair was gonna stay, you know, fresh and clean. This one is, is actually the detox version, so I think I feel like, oh, maybe it'll help with like oily roots as well as like detoxing any toxins I have in my hair. It's not really doing a detoxing feel on my hair. Weightlessly detangles, softens, and hydrates. So if your hair feels like it's you know, kind of dragging down, it's a little bit like heavy and whatnot, this actually makes your hair feel a bit lighter. So I've been actually quite impressed with this product. I feel like it made me look like I had dandruff sometimes. So that was the only thing I didn't like about it. And we're talking about favorite things, so things that I've enjoyed in this month of October. The very first thing I have to say is the Patchology Flash Patch Hydrating Lip Mask. It's like this like really awesome like lip mask that you can put on but it has like a slit in the middle which means you can still drink you can kind of still talk a little bit it's really hydrating and it's like this pink like glittery patch thing that you put on and then your lips just feels hydrated afterwards you can leave it on like while you're having your other face mask on or you can just have it on like while you're watching TV or YouTube channel whatever so it's really easy to use definitely recommend this definitely try it out this is the Lancome matte juicy shaker and this is in the color yummy pink so I liked the original juicy shaker already and this one is like the matte version I feel like it's not like super matte because when you do apply onto your lips it's still kind of oily however it dries down matte so you don't get that oily shine all the way like all the time so it kind of dries down matte after about I feel like about three minutes um, so what do, you, what do you do is you shake it and then you apply it with the little like doe foot or what is oh this like a sponge cushion Thing, and then you just sort of dab it on your lips like this. The only annoying thing is you have to shake it every time you apply it because there's not a lot of product on the cushion. If you have seen my live videos on Facebook, you probably have seen this already. And this is the Teddy Blake Eva bag in the 11 inch. This is a inspiration or a replica of the Hermes bag. This size is good for me every day. It fits everything that I need. And I like just the uniqueness of how the structure of the bag. So it makes you feel put together, but also you can still dress this down a little bit. It's got a turn lock opening. So you can have a lock an actual lock on this once you open it if it's a ton of things in there like I have all my stuff in there as you can see so if it's a lot of stuff surprisingly and because it's like the 11 inch you can actually almost fit like your little iPad mini and whatnot so it does fit a lot of stuff I put my camera put like my makeup bag and everything so it's been a good bag this is actually pronounced Yord but it's spelled J-O-R-D and it's like the wood watches so all of their watches is made from wood and they have different colors the maples they have like the light wood they have the dark wood like all the types of wood you can imagine right and this is like the big face i think there you can get them in like the smaller faces i like this one because it's um, rose gold with the purple face as well as like a plummies type of wood so that's unique and different and very girly they're also doing a giveaway at the moment so i will try to link that down below and you guys can check it out basically you enter your details and then you get you get lucky and you might win a Yord watch yourself. Cargo Cosmetics, the Emerald City Eyeshadow Palette. So I have been wanting to try cargo products for like the longest time, but we don't have cargo cosmetics in, in Australia. So I could, the only time I could actually get access to this is when I'm in New York. This palette has like not only the greens, but also the neutral golds as well. So you can play with cooler tones as well as the warmer tones. And they put one dark shadow in there, which is great because you always need a darker shadow to sort of blend all of the other colors in. This is the Pocket Ball Cushion and it's by Alive Lab. So Alive Lab is this Korean um, online store and they sell all these kind of like quirky, cool, different type of skincare and, and makeup. And this is one of the things that kind of caught my eye. It's a rollable applicator and it basically helps to brighten or even out skin tone. So what I've been using this is exactly underneath the eyes where it's more dark and it brightens that area. And all I have to do is just apply it with the ball and then I just pat it in with my finger. It's a lot cooling as well because it's got that roller ball effect. This is the Emil Corden and I think, I believe this is a New York based brand. You can only get these I think on their website and this is not only a lip balm, you can also use this as a cuticle cream or a moisturizer. I use this basically on anything that I feel like dry patches or like 
the back of your heel, whatnot. So they come in different flavors, different colors. Not only is the packaging amazing, but it actually is very moisturizing. So I have been applying these to my cuticles, especially cracked or dry peeling cuticles. It just makes them smoother. The weather in New York is so weird. Like I, I was expecting fall weather, like really, really cold, ready for my Ugg boots type of like, you know, and my like scarves and whatnot. But no, it's been like 25, 26 degrees. So this jacket has been really handy because you can kind of wear this over like a dress or something or even jeans and it's just easy to throw on. The only downside is that it doesn't have side pockets so I don't I can't put anything on the side but other than that like these pockets are functioning and it's just really cute it's like a formal version of a bomber jacket and I think you can also get this in other colors but I found like this color was a bit more like you know kind of goes with everything it is ta -da -da -da. it's a blemish extracting kit so you have all of the blemish extracting tools you can have under the Sun you've got ones for like the smaller head that is great for picking out around the nose and whatnot and you also have these ones which is great for like big pussy cyst cystic acne and this is also great for scraping the blackheads around the nose as well if you someone who does this professionally or if someone that you know knows how to do this professionally you have literally everything you need in this one kit like I've actually done a video on how to extract your blemishes properly so make sure you watch that before going crazy at your face with this okay I actually got this from the snack fever box and what this is, is actually a pencil case. So it's just got a zip that goes from the top to bottom. And I've just filled this with stuff that I actually, you know, put in there. It's iPhone cable, charger, correction tape, and things like that. So this has been cute. And definitely the snack fever box is like definitely worth trying because there's so much snacks in there. Like everyone just went at it and it just like just disappeared like it literally gone in 60 seconds this is the art naturals signature serene from the blessed box and I, that was like the first live video that i did on my facebook so this is a oil that you can use to help calm and relax you so if you ever feel stressed at work which is all the time you can apply some of this onto your wrist and it's just got that really nice sort of calming soothing essential oil sort of feel I mean, if you're really really desperate you could roll this over your mouth like on top of your lips and then you feel it just goes straight into your nose but I don't suggest that I always suggest somewhere like closer to where your scent is so whether like it's your wrist or if you want to put it on your temples as well you can do that it's just very calm and soothing I feel like this is great for people who do suffer a lot of like I guess anxiety or like people who feel really stressed all the time this is a great way to even apply before you go to bed because it's relaxing pop white the dental cosmetic whitening primer to plus toothpaste so you've got the toothpaste plus the toner so what you do is you brush your teeth with this and then you rinse your teeth out like rinse it as a mouthwash with the toner because it's purple it counteracts the color yellow so it makes your yellow teeth look whiter over time I feel like it don't you don't see results immediately you have to be using it like day and night for like at least two weeks to see some sort of difference the only thing is that because it's purple like you have to really wash down your base and other than that it's been great because you don't taste that bleachy or peroxide taste in your mouth that a lot of teeth whiteners have a Mary clinical power of science and nature breast enhancement cream so this one you have to be supposedly use it with the supplement as well but I um, haven't been taking the supplement because I don't really need enhancement I just need a lift so as you age as you know like you know gravity everything goes down so you want to make sure everything comes back up so I've just been using this as like a cream to help sort of firm that area and make sure that we get that lift and support all you have to do is apply like I guess maybe like a quarter size um, amount just to that area and then you just massage until it disappears you do that both day and night and I definitely have noticed like more firmer skin around that area and I've only been using this for about like three weeks or two two weeks maybe so I feel like if you use this all the time or if you use or if you continue to use it you might get more of enhancement and when in terms of enhancement it's usually like if, if you think about it once something is firm and uplifted it's going to get it's going to look bigger anyways okay so that was it that was all of my favorites for the month of october if you have any questions let me know down below and i will see you in my next video bye